Hello friends and welcome to the Southern Mountain Kitchen. Today we're making turtle candy. So what we're going to start with is a pan that you can put about two cups of pecans on because we are going to need to put these into an oven which you need to preheat to 350 degrees. So get your pecans onto the pan. I lined mine with some parchment paper just for the fact that I wanted it to be easy to pick up and move afterwards. You don't have to do that, it's your choice. And we put them in the oven for at least eight to 10 minutes. And when they come back, they're gonna look a little bit like this. This is where my paper comes in handy because I can lift them off with the paper. And I'm gonna move them to a cutting board, which I'm gonna chop them up a little bit finer than they are here because I want them to be usable when I mix up the inside of the turtle. So I took a big knife and just went across them multiple times in different directions and chopped them up to where they were a little bit more usable. Once you get them chopped up, you're going to sit them to the side until after we mix up the actual inside caramel that goes into the turtle. So just chop them, get them done, and then set them aside and we're going to move on to the next part. So we are going to take at least six tablespoons of butter, put it in the microwave and melt it in bursts until it's liquidy. Um, if you put this straight in sometimes and you leave it for the whole time, it will literally pop and go all over the inside of your microwave. You don't want that. So in a large bowl, we're going to dump that melted butter in and then we're going to add some ingredients to this. We're going to start out with some light brown sugar, which is a half a cup. Then we're gonna add regular sugar, a half a cup. And we are adding in some corn syrup, which is the light colored kind. And you are going to put a half a cup of that in. Make sure you scoop out what's in your cup because it will not come out easily. And lastly, we are gonna add in a half a cup of condensed milk. And again, you're going to have to scrape your bowl or whatever you have it in um, because it will not come out easily because this stuff is really sticky and it's going to stay in there till you scoop it out. And once we get this all into our bowl, we're going to mix it up with our spatula until everything is incorporated. Now once you get it all together, you're going to put it into the microwave for about six minutes and then bring it back. So this is where we're going to put in one and a half teaspoons of vanilla extract. And you're going to want to mix this in completely into what you already had come out of the microwave. So go ahead and mix it up until it all stirs in. And then after this, we are going to add the pecans into this mix and then stir them up. So I just added them in handful, handful. It doesn't really matter. It's just easier to keep control of it that way. But when they're in, you're going to mix them with your spatula and get them completely coated with the caramel. Now there's one thing I learned about making this caramel as it comes out of the microwave. It is extremely hot. And you got to make sure that your microwave is hot enough to get it to the temperature it needs to be. So that way it thickens up. But when you mix in the pecans, you get ready to put these onto your pan that you're going to put in your refrigerator to cool. Um, it's one of these things where you need to let it cool a little first before you even put it on that or else they will just spread way too much. So I already put mine onto the pan and put them into the refrigerator for at least a half an hour to cool down and be right before you can dip them in chocolate. So in my bowl, I have about two cups of chopped up chocolate. You may need more if you're making more of these. I don't know. This actually worked for what I was doing. I have plenty of chocolate. So you're going to put this into the microwave for at least a couple minutes. And I would do it at like 30 seconds stir, 30 seconds stir. So that way you don't scald your chocolate or anything. Um, and then when you get it completely out, you just want to stir it up a bit to make sure it's fine. 
and then bring your turtle insides over on a fork and scoop this on top and then put them on like wax paper so that they can sit and cool and that way they'll solidify because you probably should put these in the refrigerator again once you've got your chocolate on for about i don't know a half an hour or something like that and then they're ready to eat So just keep repeating the process of bringing over the inside that you made, which is refrigerated already, on a fork or whatever, and then put the chocolate on top one at a time and then sit them onto your wax paper to solidify, cool, and get ready for the fridge. And this is really all there is to making these. The best thing about this is once I started eating them, they're really addictive, they have a great taste, and they're not really that hard to make at home. And this is what it looks like when it's done. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. And if you'd like to, please look at my cookbook, which is available on Amazon and in bookstores worldwide. Have a great day.